Another very handy tool within SOLIDWORKS animations is the ability to reverse an animation. So for example, if we have some specific animation that we've spent quite a lot of time on to create, and then we want to actually do the exact opposite, for example, an explode and collapse would be a good example. I don't actually have to recreate the exact opposite of this. I can just flip or reverse my entire animation. So in this case, let's see if we just play through this simple animation here. Just pausing for a few seconds, then clamping for a few seconds. So very simple animation. But let's say I wanted to now do the exact opposite or reverse of that. It's a fairly simple process once you've run through it a few times. All I have to do is essentially copy and paste my entire animation. So I can just box select. So I'm going to click and drag here to do a box select. I'm going to make sure I get kind of my entire animation here, everything within that animation. And we can see those being highlighted. And then just right click on any of the highlighted portions there and copy. So essentially we're just doing a copy paste here. So I'm going to do a copy. So I've copied this entire animation, this entire, it's a six second animation. And now I probably want to paste it somewhere. So let's move my time bar, maybe do about eight seconds and paste about here. So just right clicking again on about eight seconds there. And I'm going to choose paste. So what that's done now is pasted my entire six second animation, but it's pasted it exactly the same. So essentially I'm closing my clamp for six seconds and I'm waiting and then I'm closing my clamp again for six seconds where we don't want that exactly. We actually want to flip or reverse that. So now what I do again, do a box select of what I've just pasted. So from eight seconds or so about here, I'll just do a box select here. And now I've copied what I've just pasted or selected what I've just pasted. Again, just do a right click. And now I want to choose reverse path down here at the bottom, which is essentially gonna flip or reverse everything I have selected there. So if I try reverse path there, you see all of those keys just kind of flipped or reversed. So what should happen now is from zero to six seconds, I'll have that clamp closing animation, and then it will pause for two seconds between six and eight, and then repeat the same, just exact opposite. So let's try that if we calculate through. We have our clamp closing here, pause for a few seconds, then our clamp opening and actually doing the exact opposite of our initial animation. So this reversing of an animation can be very, very useful pretty much any way you can think of it. If you ever have, a, of course, a very complex animation rather than just a few seconds, this can be a, a huge time saver to reverse an entire animation.